hello guys welcome to Marian tv this is Marian, and today guys of course as you can see i'm here with ken once again you know brother-in-law wake amos and uh, you know of course the last time we were here with him he was going to meet amos for them to go to discuss the to come up with the resolution of the issue of Amos wanting to meet his wife. So after the meeting, I want to see what he thought, him visiting his brother-in-law for the first time in that house. But I can everything the new Ilienda Pakasa how are you? Fine, you. Karibu sana. Good, good to see you. Uh -huh. Mekua aje? Mekua poa, labda wewe? Yeah, mi mekua poa sana. I think the last time to Leonana to Leonga sana. Uh -huh. And I'm so happy kukuona tena. Uh -huh. yeah. Ata mimi niko so happy kukuona tena uh -huh. now that we are here. Yeah. Na naona uko fresh. Na kani kama kuna ma good news sama. <laughs> Sinu kama kuna good news. Uh -huh. All the same of course kuna good news. Kuna, uh -huh. kuna progress. Uh -huh. Kwa vitu zenye tumekua tuki handle. Uh -huh. So of course siku baya. Uh -huh. yeah. Ebu salamia watu basi wa, wa, wa Hello, my fans from Marian. Kwaaje, ali kote mko. Najua, it's been long since we were in touch, but here I am again, so that we can update each other on the progress of the matters. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I, I almost called you Amos Ken. The last time we were with you, yes, we did the interview briefly, and then we were going to meet with Amos, and of course you guys and also with the alluders, you are going to discuss on the way forward of the issue because. Because Amos Alkwam expressed his desire to meet his wife. So you guys met. How was everything? The meeting? Well, um, you know when I when I met when I when I was going to meet him at first I thought mm. it's going to be this kind of meeting that was going to be rude mm -hmm. because his nature is a from the first time I knew him mm. he's a rude person. Yeah, he's somebody who talks good and rough and tough. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa ni expectation ya mtu mwenye anaongea vibaya. Yes. So when I got into that meeting room uh -huh. I thought and I expected such kind of uh, in a discussion. Uh -huh. But I was shocked when I met the difference. <laughs> He was absolutely different. Yes. Because he was like, oh man, Pole. In fact, that an Anita bro, brother in law, Pole. Me, because I'm expecting something different. But I request some kuwem se wa woye. Pole, I'm sorry, forgive me. So he was absolutely different. Sana ni because almost you cannot be serious. So I can't expect him to be different from her. But that is not what I received that day. Yeah. So it was expectations versus real. Reality. What you expected is not what you found. Na juele unaendaga kama uko hivi, uko ready, in case kukutoke uwa, uko ready kuji defend. Yes. Uko hadi ready na words. But wakati sani mengia kwa yo room, and I thank God for their leaders, because they made it possible. And they, I think they've been talking to Amos for a long time, kuliana bila wali nyambia. They've been taking him through sessions to guide and counsel him. And Amos I'm a turn down, he's a different person, uh -huh. he's a different personality, guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm so shocked. Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm so surprised. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm still I'm still here to watch. Two weeks is not a long time. That is his personality, that is his nature. He was not I was I was just shocked to see him a different person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, and uh, now so are you going to that house for the first time. Uh -huh. So how was the experience? You know, of course you had never gone there from how you explained from the previous video. So you look for you can feel larger being there for the first time though your sister was not there but still how did it make you feel uh, at first i was no i it was not the best time to be in his house uh -huh. because mm -hmm. so it was not the best timing mm -hmm. for me to be in that house uh -huh. and uh, it was not honor for me to be in that house at that time. Mm -hmm. But sasa tu ni vile situation ime, ime force mm -hmm. na umejipata in that place at that time. Mm -hmm. So it was not, I didn't, I didn't feel anything or any excitement about it mm -hmm. because if they had they had invited me, my pema, mm -hmm. at least Nikuja as a brother-in-law. So I'll your time, Nikuja, like Vita, you know. <laughs> so 
kama ningekuwa ni mali kwa kitambo kidogo in a better way uh-huh. maybe ingekuwa better enough mm. but hiyo uh, yenye nilienda huko eh kidogo mm. haikukuwa vizuri sana uh-huh. yeah but all the same uh-huh. it was great them having or him having to invite me uh-huh. that means alikuwa ameshuka kwa mti yenye alikuwa anga uh-huh. najua msa alikuwa anga ule mse wa my money yes. pesa zangu i will show you what i can do eh hey. hey, i have i have everything nitakwambia what my money can can do uh-huh. you know but that time it was not about money uh-huh. it was not about cars yes. it was not about his his job uh-huh. or anything else uh-huh. but it was about about my wife uh-huh. forgiveness uh-huh. uh forgiveness for director j uh-huh. can please forgive me let your family forgive me so uh-huh. discussion ile kwa different uh-huh. ila wakati mimi unajua alikuwa msewa nitakuonyesha nitakulipua uh-huh. nitakufusho <laughs> yes. my money uh-huh. i'll show you what my money can do uh-huh. so it was a different talk this uh-huh. time so na kind of can we say he, that change of heart am i doing did it a, a little bit scare you ama uliona a jua luda za kwa hapa niko safe No I'm not scared I'm a man hey. oh, of course <laughs> of course <laughs> I was not scared uh-huh. uh, and um um you know let me tell you one thing uh-huh. eh? for him to have called me hata nilikuwa nimekwambia nilikuwa nalenga cost zake yes. so i had to gauge the tone first hata uh-huh. nilikuwa nimeona mafano walikuwa wamesema usiende hey. in fact that man is a dangerous man don't make an attempt of going uh-huh. but vile nilisikia tone yake na vile ana request yeye uh-huh. nikasema yeah, i'll just go yeah. and see what he's up to uh-huh. so uh, sikuwa na uoga uh-huh. sikuwa na uoga but pia the leaders were there Yeah, the mm. leaders were there. Ule msema amenyenyekea. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Ulikuwa umesema chini kitafanyika kifanyike. Ah, Acha niende. Ule mm. msema nilikuwa nimemfinya. Ule msema nimemfinya. Unajua ukiona mtu akona kiburi alafanga bado hajapata mtu wa kumfinya vizuri. Yes. Yeah, una, unakumbuka ile ile staff ya kufinya. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, alikuwa anataka tu mtu atamfinya mm. kwa mfinye vizuri. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think nimemfikisha kwa ukuta mm. na uh, the last time tulikuwa tumepeleka huko polisi. Yeah kama ni red ah tulikuwa tumemfungulia case files so mm-hmm. of course hizo vitu zote alikuwa ame, ameangalia wife yake hata jia yes. kwa wapi anaangalia hizo vitu zote akaona he hizi mm. zimekuwa unbearable yeah. na akaangalia akaona the next place atajikuta maybe ni cell mm-hmm. yeah so alikuwa amenyekea mm-hmm. but i hope haijanyenyekea jia hizo vitisho zote mm-hmm. hiyo polisi kuja kwa kazi yake yeah. i hope amenyenyekea juu ni kweli anataka wife yake mm-hmm. yeah. okay na sasa unaweza kusema meeting ilikuwa je was it successful from probably what you had in mind ama tushi ulikuwa nafikiria do you feel like it was successful ama it was a fail na as a sema it was a success for mm. him because uh, in a in a certain manner ali manage to convince kidogo ya kwamba he's willing to change in yeah. fact to the fact that ali niita na nikakuja mm-hmm. and the fact that I, i he managed to talk in fact hata kama unaweza ona hiyo video nimeona imekuwa uploaded yeah Uh, unaweza ona at, at the end of it tulikuwa tunacheka hata tulisalimiana yeah. so kind of uh, i think ali manage to prove to a certain degree ya kwamba he's willing to change yes. and he's working on himself mm-hmm. and the aluda spear kept confirming to me and affirming to me every other single time ya kwamba this guy is changing mm-hmm. he's, he's up to working on himself yeah Uh, na wakasema hata they make calls mm-hmm. anampigianga simu hadi usiku wanam advise wanampatia counsel yeah. so it means he's somebody who is about to change mm-hmm. if given time and, and in life it's all about giving people second chance yes see to kwa kukuwa hard tough boom mm-hmm. it's about mm-hmm. giving people second chances mm-hmm. yeah. okay so you ca- you can say that like at least a pair almost a pair of second chance I'm, all, I'm also saying this mm. because of you know the response you've seen how people have been responding wakisema their wife asikutane kabisa na yeye mm. but you believe in second chances I totally believe in second chances mm. if, if he proves himself beyond reasonable doubt why mm. not mm. why not because everybody makes a mistake and yeah. me usema mm. uh, watu wenye wameshikwa wako pale committee prison mm. ni kwa sababu wao walifanya mistake mm-hmm. na wakashikwa probably yeah. wewe uko hapo ulifanya mistake na ujeshikwa that's mm-hmm. why uko jela. Mm. Uh, so stop criticizing na kusema uh, you know aspect of second chance. I believe everybody deserves a second chance mm-hmm. in case they prove that they need it. So me I'm ready but mm-hmm. it must take time yeah. because he must show mm-hmm. that whatever he is speaking out of his mouth mm-hmm. is what is in his heart. Mm-hmm. So ni kweli ame change. Ni kweli hizo mtu anasema 
ni za ukweli yeah. ukweli kina Luda ame anasikiza kenye the Ludas wanamwambia mm -hmm. is he working on himself yeah. is he ready to take back his wife and begin a, a fresh mm -hmm. and arekebisha hizo mistakes zenye zilikuwa ama yeah. taendelea kufunikizwa mistakes zenye zilikuwa anga mm -hmm. so we must look at all those things mm -hmm. before we give him a second chance yeah. yeah you know even the reason why i even ask that it's mm -hmm. because i don't even know if it is respectful for me to say this mm -hmm. there are some weird comments i've really seen pale chini mm -hmm the fact that we are trying to give almost sec a second chance and trying to work together to see uh, the situation getting better but watu wanaona ni kama mimi na Amos kidogo ni kama mnakatiana imagine <laughs> until they even telling me yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, i'm just supposed to say the truth if really i want something yeah, yeah. now see unajua pia wamejua Amos kwa sababu alikuwa anataka ile sana mwingine alikuwa anaitwa nani mhm mm Sheril Shalin Shaha akakuja pia akachukua huyo anti mm -hmm. so wanajua Amos is a dangerous man to stay mm -hmm. around with in terms of ladies yeah. so akiona ni kama una try ku ku you know kumtetea mm -hmm. maybe of course watakuwa tuna hiyo notion mm -hmm. na uh, i think maybe you as somebody who just loves marriage as an institution yeah. what you are concerned the person yes. na wewe pia unafanya tu job yako as a journalist yeah so sisi tunataka uh, uh, wasawa get together yes. but mimi kenye na believe ni mm -hmm hakuna msemi anatakanga kuvunjia msemi marriage yake yeah, yeah. kwa sababu kama tutakuwa tunapata issues kwa marriage mm. na tunaenda tunawaambia wa separate then hakuna msemi anafaa kuwe kwa marriage yes. sai because uh -huh. marriage mob sai mm -hmm. kuna issues yeah. relationships ziko na issues so mm -hmm. ni watu tu ku wakipata issues kwa marriage ama kwa relationships mm -hmm. wana handle wana tackle yeah. na wanarudi tu pamoja wanaishi pamoja uh -huh. as long as we are willing to work out yes. uh,